Hiya, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this really simple PlayStation controller light. It's really cheap as well, if you've already got the controller it only costs you literally like a pound. So you're going to need a clear controller, you don't have to have like white clear controller, they come in other colours as well. This one does not work, that's why I'm using it. So I'm basically just going to unscrew the back. If you don't have these controllers, some people are selling them on eBay that are already broke for parts. So you can just buy one of those for a couple of bucks. So I'm going to unscrew all the screws on the back and then the back just then pops off and then you just got to take out all this stuff in the middle there's one more screw holding all this in but it's the same size as the uh, outside screws so it's not like you need loads of screwdrivers or anything I just need one small one and all this pops out and you don't need that you can make it into something else if you want. I ain't got a clue what though. <laughs> or you can try and recycle it. So all these little buttons and everything, I'm taking it all out and you want to give it a good clean. Because if it's, it's a well used um, control pad, all those buttons are going to be filthy. <laughs> no matter how much you try to keep all dusted, they do get dirty in the nooks and crannies. So now I pop them all back and I'm going to use some strong glue to hold these in place. Because I'm not putting all that inside stuff back there. So the buttons aren't going to hold themselves, so I have to glue them in place. Those things have got a bit of glue on them, so I have to like sort that out later. Because <laughs> I didn't get that in quite right. But So I'm just gluing all the buttons in. The L and the R buttons though, they can just slide back in as long as you keep them on that bit of plastic on the back. So the R1 and L1 buttons just slide in and the L2 and R2 ones are already on the back. So I've got these pack of 20 micro lights. They were a pound in one below. You can buy them online or Poundland or any other shop like that. Similar will do them, especially this time of year Christmas. Just to make it easier to use because the wire was quite long even though there's only 20 lights in this. I'm just wrapping it around a spoon handle just to make it like this curly springy thing just so it can fit in there a lot nicer and I can move it around without getting too fiddly so I'm basically just going to spread the lights out as best I can and to make sure the wire to the battery pack is going out of where the wire would be to connect it to the PlayStation as you can tell this is actually a really old PlayStation one this PlayStation 1 controller that's why it has the wires and stuff not many controllers have wires nowadays. So I just push it, put the back back on then time to all the screws up. And then on the battery pack I am just going to add some velcro so I can easily take it off just in case I want to change the colours. If you want to keep the same colours that are in there then you can just glue this straight on the back. This is just so it don't move about. And then that's it. It's done and it looks so much better in the dark. But yeah, super easy. Like I say, I already had the controller, so this one cost me the, the cost of lights, which was a pound. So, hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you want to see any more upcycled videos or, or whatever. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.